miles per hour by the time that the vehicle touches down, splashes down uh, into the ocean. Exactly right. You, know, you mentioned these beautiful visual confirmations that we're getting. You know, an important aspect of, of today's specific splashdown is that it's occurring in a, at night. Okay, Dragon 800. Copy, 800 meters. Commander Peggy Whitson confirming the spacecraft's altitude as it's making its descent into the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of San Diego, Southern California. I just love that it's coming off the coast of my hometown. For <laughs> <laughs> that expected splashdown, the landing in water is a lot simpler and more reliable. Uh, provides a little bit of margin uh, against unlikely parachute issues. Uh, we do learn we did have to learn how to make dragon waterproof as we are splashing down into the ocean but space ice copies 400 meters reminder to brace for splashdown That's a pretty cool view. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, maintaining the vehicle signature through things like cloud layer and any kind of atmospheric disturbance allows us to maintain visual contact with the vehicle as it's making its final descent towards water landing. <laughs> and it's a little foggy, as you can see there. Yeah, Pacific fog um, is rolling in. <laughs> we've got some very bright lights uh, as Dragon is, you can see the ocean there. Dragon is about to touch down in just a few seconds here. And working their way towards the vehicle are the SpaceX and Axiom support teams that will be present uh, for the next phase of, of our splashdown coverage today. Uh, at this point, we'll be waiting for, uh, for confirmation of, of the crews um, safe landing, and then we'll move into the phases of the of this mission, which are really let's recover the vehicle, let's recover the crew, let's make our assessments, and at that point we'll be covering. And we have splashdown of the AF4 crew back on planet Earth. Hello, Mike. Hello, Peter. Hello, Mike. Hello, Peter. Hello, Mike.